could not catch him. And as Fox ran, he touched that stick to one tree after another. Putting some of the fire into each one of those trees. The fire remains in those trees to this day. And to this day, by using a bow drill with a fire kit from the wood, each of his mouth and his lips became black. And to this day, if you look at any fox, you can see the evidence of how fox helped the people back then. So when we were with Tracker Rob, we learned about that magic, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just any old wood, was it? Mm -hmm. It had to be a very special wood. And you know how he gathered that little bit of fluff that was going to become, that was going to catch the fire and catch the heat and become that coal that, which is somehow hardened and be something that he could pick, you could pick it up and move it to another place. Yeah, it was like um, a plant, right? right? Wasn't it a plant? Yeah, it was almost a mossy kind of dried out stuff from a certain plant, yes. Can we draw it? Can we draw it? That'd be cool. If you were to draw it, what would you draw? <coughs> Can you sit properly? Tell me. The fox ran and there was stick in its mouth. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then the um, trees the, on fire. Yeah. And what? The trees on fire and the guy behind them running. Yeah. And you could also draw up in the mountain, you could draw like a cave fires inside. And look at this picture of it. Has a the yellow jackets. The fire troopers are yellow jackets. Really? Is that what you've heard before? Mm -hmm. Did you want to do a play of it? No. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, I had, I had when I was littler, I had a picture book of it. And they were yellow jackets. Of this story? Oh, yellow yeah. jackets. And they were yellow, the fire keepers were yellow jackets, except it was a little bit different. It was this group of animals, of all different kinds of animals, and they were really cold. And so the animals went up, and it was the same thing with the fox, but then the animals, the fox got tired, and he fell, and the fire was about to go into the snow, but then the eagle came down and swooped it up, and so it was all these different animals passing the fire off until the frog ate it and went into a pond. <laughs> And then what happened to the fire in the pond in the cold water? Well, well, it was in his mouth. Ooh. And then, so he came back up, because then the yellow jacket circled around, but then they went away, and the frog came back up and he spit it out. Uh -huh. um, and I'm, I'm not positive, but it was something like, he spit it out, but then the fire wasn't there. But now they knew that it was inside the wood, because it hit a tree or something. I can't remember exactly, but it was some mm -hmm. picture book of this. Yes, can you see the picture? Sure, I'm going to pass it around. I think that it would be lovely if we made, um, put this in one of our books, but if we were, were to do that, which book would we put in? Animal. Yeah, he would Man, animal. animal. He would have made animal. animal. I would have passed that around. That's my best book I've done. Well, that's really something, something that I wanted to share with you this week. We have.